it is a daily question for us to hear what is the best stone to use for around my pool and pool coping. Dealing with pool builders, architects, designers and the tradesmen alike, we have learned how to get the best appearance whilst keeping your pool safe and practical. My name is Armin, I'm the founder of Armstone, the place we create timeless outdoors for your home and garden. And today, I'm going to give you five most important tips when choosing stone for your pool. Tip number one, make sure your pool pavers are salt tested. It's key to consider a type of material that is suitable for your pool area. Not all natural stone pavers come equal. There are some pavers that are more favored than others. Pretty much all swimming pools have some form of harsh mineral or acid in the water and when these come into contact with natural stone, it can either quickly or slowly deteriorate your stone pavers. We determine which paver is strong enough to be used near these chemicals by putting the raw natural stone material through a lengthy process of testing. We look for key attributes like stone reaction to salt and chlorine, as well as certain other factors for longevity of the stone. Do not use any type of sandstone around your pool. Sandstone is a sedimentary rock and main composite is silicon dioxide. Sand particles are very part, far apart within the stone. That's what, is, that's what makes it too porous. When silica dioxide gets in contact with salt, it leads to a reaction which makes the stone fall apart. Tip number two, make sure your pool pavers are non-slip. Slip resistant is equally as important and as you can imagine. The pool area is under constant water stress and the last thing you want is an accident happening around the pool. Our testing method is called wet pendulum test which measures the grip strength of the finish. The higher the P rating, the more increase in the grip strength. Remember, the most important factor you will ever need to consider for your pool project is safety. We can balance us control to not fall when wet, but kids wouldn't be able to do it. Your ordinary tumbled travertine pavers are slippery when wet and are not recommended to use around the pool. I know you will turn around and tell me that your neighbor has it, or my builder said it isn't slippery, it's okay, but we have done the wet pendulum test and the result came to P3, which is same slip rating as an indoor honed tile, whereas we recommend anything above P3, which is P4 or P5. Tip number three. Choosing pool coping profile that is safe and suits your pool design. Firstly, let me define the term of what, what pool coping is. Pool coping is a capping material that goes around the pool edge to dress the rim of the pool with a safe and finished profile. To create a true thing of beauty with your pool, make sure to pick the profile of coping that will suit your pool, surrounding features, character of the home and your personal taste. There are three main uh, profiles for your pool coping. The first one is drop edge coping. The drop edge coping gives you a thick, bold frame uh, around your pool. A modern look drop edge coping can come in one full stone piece or it can be mitered to order. Drop edge coping really highlights your pool and creates the look of the full stone slab surrounding the inner water. Pencil round pool coping has a has three to five round three to five millimeter rounded top and a bottom to allow for a smooth finish. This particularly this particularly important with the sawn pavers as the edges can be too sharp to use around the pool coping. Pencil round suits more rectangular or L-shaped pools and can be classy, low-key finish to modern pool. You can also use the drop edge for L-shaped pools as well. The more of a square edge, more of a modern look. The third option is the bull nose. And the bull nose is a perfect finish to work with curved pool or kidney-shaped pools. The bull nose coping has a thick semicircular finish, creating a more traditional look. 
It's perfect for safety and gives a warm feeling to your pool. Tip number four, choose papers that doesn't get hot. If your pool is getting constant sun, darker colored papers will get quite hot. Walking barefoot will be almost impossible. For example, granite pavers and bluestone pavers are salt resistant, makes it ideal product to use for saltwater pools. But being dense volcanic stone, having a darker pigments, it absorbs heat. If this is the case for you, choose a natural stone from the calcite family. Marble pavers and limestone pavers are great for this as they reflect heat. Tip number five. Protect your pool pavers, make them easy to maintain. All natural stone products require to be sealed. This is an unwavering fact. It is crucial aspect of maintenance. Sealing makes the stone less porous and will give you roughly 24 to 48 hours to attend to the cleaning of the stone. Don't worry too much. There are other products that are crafted for these, for, for these purposes. If you have gum trees and frequenting bats, there are solutions for you. And we are happy to run through them with you over the phone, or I will cover this in my future vlog. That's all for now. If you find this video helpful, please like it, share it. If you have any questions, please comment below or simply give us a call. The number is 1300 560 560. See you next time.